Well, hello, YouTubers. Hopefully, everybody is doing just wonderful. Uh, but I would do something a little different today. Since it's going to turn cold, and I'm not going to get to do much outside for the next week or so, we actually may have a little snow for May, which is unusual. So it's going to turn cold, and I'm going to be pretty much inside for a while, it looks like. But I thought I'd do something a little different today. Uh, I wanted to show you what happens uh, to these master cylinders when your brakes go to the floor and uh, what it looks like on the inside, especially for the uh, younger kids that are getting cars and uh, you have to go out and buy a new master cylinder and your brakes go to the floor. Well, I want to show you what actually happens inside here. And I got a feeling probably on this F-150, I think it's a 95 uh, truck, uh, the brakes went straight to the floor. This is a non-ABS system. Uh, when your brakes go to the floor, if you don't have ABS, it's usually the master cylinder that, that goes bad. Unless you look underneath of it and it has a big puddle of uh, brake fluid, then you know you got a brake line that is broken somewhere, busted, and that's probably the cause of it. But if you don't have any leaks and your pedal's going to the floor, this is usually the problem here. There's seals and some uh, internal workings in here that probably has gone bad. So I figured we'd go ahead and tear this apart and look at it. And uh, it shouldn't be uh, too hard. Now, the old days, you used to be able to go out and buy seal kits for these and rebuild them and everything. Sometimes the inside of this will get sort of worn and the bore will become out of round and all that. But 99% of the time, I find it's just seals that get torn and get busted inside of these um, master cylinders. And uh, that's all that's wrong with them. Sad thing is, you can't buy master cylinder seals anymore, only for the old vehicles probably the antiques in the 70s and maybe some 80s vehicles I, I think i did see one um old post that you can still buy online some seals for these master cylinders for some of the mid 90 trucks but uh the newer generation forget it it's pretty much all one piece and uh, it's everything's throwaway nowadays so it's kind of sad because i like to rebuild things and put things back to its original uh day when it was built from the factory so uh and other than that other than that if you uh have a master cylinder that goes bad it's always nice to have the seals so you can rebuild it and just uh move on an hour later and you're back on the road but uh, sometimes you have to wait for days for parts all right so enough rambling on let's go ahead and tear this apart uh usually they're pretty easy to get apart i'll set this up like this i've got a, a little clip here i have to take out and i'll see if you can kind of watch me take this out. There's usually a little bit of pressure here, so I'll take my screwdriver and push down on this like that. I'll take my needle nose here and take this little clip out like that. And kind of be careful sometimes this is spring loaded and the spring might pop out and force this clip flying to the air, but usually not. So uh, we're going to take this apart and look at it and we'll see what happened to the inside. Like I said, I think more like the seal has gone bad, torn, all right, here we go. And I'll try to keep the lighting as best I can. It's hard to adjust camera settings, especially when you have black objects. It's kind of hard to get the lighting on it. All right, just to pop that out. All right, there's that. Little guy there. And the spring that comes out. And let's see. And that's about it. And it's all apart. Now let's go out here in the sun and look on the inside of this thing and see what it looks like on the bore. Alright, so there's the inside. And uh, boy, it looks brand new still in there, if you can see that. Let me shine the light just right. See how shiny it is in there? It looks really good. So there's no scratches or anything. So it probably has a bad seal. And... Uh, this is a pretty simple setup, so let's go back inside. So it looks really good in there. It's like brand new still. And that's a shame because a seal kit would fix this. Alright, we're back inside. By the way, this sensor here, this is for your uh, cruise control. When you hit the brake, it releases the cruise control. And uh, there's a sensor right here. This tells you when your fluid level is low. That's all that is. And of course you got your brake line. So let's go ahead and look at these seals and see what we have on this. We'll kind of zoom in a little bit. And here's the first section I took out. And what we'll do, we'll just kind of look at it here, the front of the seal. Now hopefully the lighting is sufficient. Spin this around and that seal looks good. Right, let's look at this one. Alright, that seal looks good. 
So I don't see any issue. I don't see no issue here. So we'll set that back down. All right, we'll grab the other one here and uh, leave the spring on it just for video purposes. And we'll look at this guy here. And yeah, right away I see the issue. See that right there? Seal's torn. Got a torn seal. If I can get, hold the camera just right. See it right there? That is the problem. There's why we have a pedal to the floor. And let's spin this around some more. And there's another place right there. It's torn. So we got two places on that seal. Alright, let's check this other one. And let's see. The other seal looks good. So, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. If you had a seal kit, or if I had a seal kit, I could rebuild this master cylinder. And it would be uh, just fine. But that's the way it is nowadays. Everything, like I said, is thrown away. And it's just as easy for them to rebuild a master cylinder with all the seals and internal parts and uh, put it together and sell it to you. So, um, but like I said, it's, I like it because of convenience. Because if your brakes go out, you know how to rebuild these, you can have it back on the road in an hour. So, uh, amazing. A five cent seal, and it causes the entire master cylinder to fail. So, this is, this is how it works, guys. Especially the younger kids that are getting into cars and stuff. Like I said, the older vehicles, you can uh, go out and uh, buy rebuild seals for a lot of these uh, master cylinders. And uh, like I said, the inside of that looks brand new. And right here is what's left of one of the seals. So there's part of one. So this was interesting. So I thought I would just kind of do this and show you guys why master cylinders usually fail. Sometimes this... Uh, metal part right here can scrape the side of the bore inside that master cylinder but if you look at this uh, it's almost impossible for that to even touch the sides because these seals are so big uh, it just it's almost impossible for this here to touch the sides so uh, it's interesting so this whole system goes in like this this is how it came out and that's how it's going to go in and you have two chambers you have this one here Let me, uh, hold this back up you have uh, this chamber and this chamber and brake fluid kind of runs down into here and here and when you push your brake there's a rod that pushes this like this and this fluid gets in here in front of these seals and all that and pushes the uh, fluid down the brake line and that's what uh, works your calipers and that's how your brakes work but uh, yeah right there is our issue one more look there see it seal how bad it's how badly it's torn right there so I'll just keep this in the garage and maybe someday I'll find a seal kit for this. It's worth keeping and rebuilding. So. Interesting. Alright, so I uh, won't bore you guys anymore. So uh, there you go. And if you want to tear your master cylinder apart before you uh, turn it in for a core, hey, go for it. Just, you know, be nosy. <laughs> Look at it and see how it works. And it'll educate you in the future for uh, other projects and You'll be able to fix your own vehicle if you ever ever have this issue. So when you go buy these uh, caliper, uh, the, when you go buy these uh, brakes now, these master cylinders. Uh, three, two, one. Now, when you go buy master cylinders, you only get this. You don't even you get nothing. So you usually have to take your stuff off of your other master cylinder and put it on the new one, and all that. And if you have uh, sensors, you have to change all that. So uh, there you go. So uh, guess I'll. Uh, Put this off the side and just keep it for uh, future references and all that. So uh, this is how your master cylinder works. And you can see it's put together really simply. I mean, there's the seal. You take this off and boom. If only I had a seal kit, I would save myself 50 bucks. Even if you look closely, even this seal is slightly torn right there on the top. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. So very interesting. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, good luck. If you have a braking problem that's going to the floor without the ABS, it's more likely your master cylinder. If you have the ABS, then it gets a little tricky. ABS systems will be bad and you'll still have a sinking pedal and all that. And usually when I have a sinking pedal with an ABS or even the uh, master cylinder bad, I still don't get a brake light 99% of the time. But uh, you just basically have to work it do a process of elimination and and tear your tear your master cylinder apart and 
physically look inside and see if there's a seal bed. And if it is, well, go buy you another master cylinder. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Enough rambling on, and I will see you later on my next project.